and we're live. <laughs> Hi, Trim. How are Hi, you? Man. I'm all right. How are you? I'm okay. Uh, trying to don't get crazy during these crazy times, but yeah. all good. Better stay focused. <laughs> yes. Um, well, well, the, there's already people connected, so it's good. Um, so maybe we will give a little context. Um, well, the sure. reason we are here is to, to check some of the submission of the contest we organized with Trim. So what is the contest is about? It's, it's a challenge. We put some uh, a guitar track to drummers from all over the world play over this this track and yeah i i don't know what what do you think but so far the the entries are are awesome i think i think it's been really good really good yeah and so. i have yeah it's been a lot of entries uh and a lot of really good entries uh i don't think i've even seen any bad one um mm. so and the thing is that this challenge is actually quite difficult because the guitar track is pretty simple so it makes it harder for a drummer you know to actually make the guitar track sound even better so that's one of the challenge you know mm. to make something simple sound you know as good as possible yeah and and at the same time you need to kind of you know you you just got a minute so you kind of have to you have to progress quite different from a regular song mm. so it's it's not an easy challenge quite on the contrary it's difficult to kind of you know <laughs> yeah. do something uh, for a sh such a short uh, period yeah yeah no for sure but i was really impressed by the result because also the guitars because they are simple they give kind of a lot of space to yeah exactly. drummers interpret that as they want so no that has been really cool so yeah. maybe we we should remind the people uh, the the prices while well, we explain a little of the contest. Oh yeah. Um, prices will be uh, one pair. You know, one microphone is two microphones. From yeah. It's a match uh, pair. Microphone. Yes. I think you yeah. have one there. I have one here. So as oh. you can see, they are really small. Yes. But they are brilliant. I mean, you can use them for, for, I use them for overheads, for ride and, and high hats and they are really good. They, I have some Neumann microphones, which are way more expensive, but they don't, they don't sound better. So these sound just as good as the Neumann microphones. So they, these are really good and so small It's really easy to get them, you know, pointing them any, any position you want them. Yeah. So really yeah, good. they are really good. Yeah, okay, it's a company uh, based in Austria, and they they do really cool stuff. So one price is is that one. Other is yeah. um, a drum PST from yeah. IK Multimedia called Modo Drum. That yeah, I've been having a look at it. It's really good, really good. I'm not a big fan of of kind of you know VST drums, but this was really good because you can kind of design. The drums how you prefer to have them so that's a different level of, yeah, of you know you, you drum program yeah you can pick uh, the what is snare you want what kind yeah. of the size of the snare the it is uh you, yeah, you can make great. your 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 dream dr drum kit <laughs> on yeah. the computer yeah, yeah i mean you can do everything and you can like you said you can change the sizes you can change the room you can do yeah. so much. Uh, it's awesome program. To be, yeah. I mean, IK Multimedia is one of the world's leading, you know, software programmers. So they know what they are doing. Yeah, for sure. We have also Kerry K giving <coughs> some cool headphones. Exactly. That's important for drummers, especially to have yeah, good yeah. reference. Yeah. Um, Presonus, uh, they give a, a license of a Studio One Professional Five. For the people that don't know, it's like Studio so One is like Cubase, like Ableton Live, like Logic. Uh, yeah. 
And just better. No, yes. I, I use it myself, and it's so. I mean, I've tried all the other ones, and they have yeah. some good stuff as well. But I never had any problems. You know, nothing. There is. It's just smooth running, and you have, you know, tons of plugins. You can do everything mm -hmm. in that program. So I've been using that program for years, and I, you know, I, I'm not changing to anything else. Mm. Yeah, no, it's really uh, easy to use. But for me, I also use it since uh, the first version. And no, it's really cool. It's uh, really intuitive. Um, you have a yeah. lot of, of, it came already with a lot of, of good plugins. So no, it's exactly. good stuff. And of course, classic, <laughs> big third American classic. Yeah. Nylon tip, yes. because it's, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is exactly the stick that you use right it's exactly the same i have yes. i have a hair so these are the same stick that i use myself uh, i tried a lot of different kind of sticks but you know i always end up with the wick firth um they have great products great balance it doesn't chip off so easily and with the nylon tip that i use you can get a lot of details from both you know, symbols, high at ride. So that's my go to stick uh, and have been for, for many years now. Yeah, no, that's cool. And we should remind the people that what day we are 15. Well, there are still four days to send your entry. Yep. Um, still time. So hurry up. <laughs> so, uh, and in the contest, you, um, you can see some of the entries that. Uh, people already sent so they're really cool so yeah. um we're gonna listen some some of those entries now and to that i will go to one minute to metal all right instagram that is a partner with this contest so i want to go at the first entry i think the first entry with this one so, uh, is JC Drumk Drumk <laughs> JC Drumk? So, um, yeah, we will gonna check him out. So, uh, okay, so let's start over. <laughs> Okay. stuff <laughs> good stuff what yeah think? for sure uh like i said before that all all the entries i've seen now have, have been good you know and this is good as well you know um cool intro you know trying to something different you know uh good beat you know good good blast and quite powerful you know so yeah I like it. It's, it's hard to develop that technique, the blast beat. Uh, yeah, I mean, everybody have their own style, mm. you know, the way they play. So, uh, you know, uh, I wish I had kind of YouTube and stuff like that when I grew up, because then I would <laughs> have saved myself for a lot of, you know, pain and, and yeah, you know, sure. could have, oh, yeah, yeah. So, um, the, the drummers today are on a different level, you know, because they have, they have developed a, a new technique. So yes. the the, bl the blast is to a different level now than when I yeah, started to sure. play. 
Yeah. So oh. I I play kind of criminal. I really, I really, <laughs> I'm really sorry because I just realized that I had you only you on yeah. the video. So I didn't see shit. So <laughs> you didn't see shit. And on top of that, no one see nothing. So mm. sorry. So let's play that again. <laughs> uh, all right. Sorry for that, guys. Kind of Marshall. Yeah. He doesn't even blink. So it's a, it's a good one. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> no, and, and he he make it look so easy, you know, because yeah. there are drummers that are really like they very expressive and you get yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> So let's check let's check another. What is yeah, it? yeah. He also has sort of the same kind of build up in the beginning, like a cool, yeah, uh, yeah. sort of like Slayer kind of style intro. Uh, mm. Yeah, really good. Um, similar with a with a blast beat, but he used like the the first drummer. He he used like double uh, kick drums all the time while he played like a single blast beat. Mm. So that's you know that's just a matter of you know flavor and and, and style what you like. Yeah. So this guy is Good Vaser six six six. Yeah, and, and he played a lot of rude bass symbol, is it? Yeah, it's a you have a light ni nice set. Well, yeah. it, it looked like he's a really pro. He's a Oh yeah, sure. I mean, you can you can tell the way he plays and everything that you know he's been yeah. playing for a long time, so he he knows yeah, his stuff. Sure. Uh, maybe we can give a shout out to the people that are in the chat: Superstar, William Guerra, Lawrence Dinamarca, drummer. I I guess he's a drummer. <laughs> okay. Tamatua drummer. Ah, Tamatua drummer. I think this is a guy who. Um, Use some Polynesian uh, percussion, something like that. Eric oh, okay. Hall and Tiago Bonoamigo. So let's check another one. William Guerrero said, What's up? Uh, okay, let's check. Acquire sound. <laughs>
Yeah. What do you think of that? Yeah. Yet lot another energy. good one. Yeah, a lot of energy. Yeah, yeah. I like I like in, uh, drummers with a lot of energy. Like you know. Uh, so that's that's cool. You know. Um, he also have a like a really cool build up. Uh, in the in the beginning, you know, it's yeah. it, it progress. And that's really cool because. Like I said before, you you just you don't have a lot of time. This is just one minute, so you kind of you know you wanna yeah. you wanna progress faster than than on a normal song. And he yeah. have a lot of like really cool accents on on the ride and on hi and the and the and the splash cymbals as well. Yeah. So you know, uh, yeah, I, I like his style. You know, he yeah, kind of he, he, I, I guess he's trying a lot you know because he only have like a minute so you want to yes. do as much as possible um but at the same time it's you know you you want to you don't want to overdo it as well so and he he definitely yeah. you know he he knows his skill yeah he, he knows what he's doing yeah yeah no that's really really cool and to pick up acquire sadness noises is <laughs> if it's, it's, it's nice uh oh that's his name his account oh. yeah well yeah. <laughs> So cool. Uh, ah, this one. I think is the is the only woman that sent an entry. Oh, cool. So let's check that out. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good as well. <laughs> yeah, she had like a different approach to the song. Yeah, she kind definitely. of started, uh, you know, with a with a kind of a regular beat instead of like a build up, and that that works uh, really good as well. And yeah. she has some really cool fills, and you know, the blast beat was really solid, and yeah, all in all, a really good, really good entry. Yeah. So there's 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 no reason why why. Uh, you know, female drummers shouldn't, you know, enter for, for this. And, you know, yeah, there's sure. a lot of it's really good female drummers in general. So, yeah, no, they're really cool. So, yeah, cool. It's, it's good and to see them in, in yeah. playing I think metal as well. She's from, she's from Mexico. Oh, her yeah. name is Angie Angelica. And yeah. know, it's a big uh, black metal fan. Oh, that's cool. Um, oh, that's pretty cool. Cool stuff. And now a check another. He it's longer than one minute. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, that's, that's no problem. No? Yeah, but he he also have you know more of the same approach as the, the female drummer. You know, started with you know uh, no yeah. no sort but of I intro. Think he, start, he there's no build up. It, he 
came right to the point. Uh, yeah, yeah, he started, you know, playing uh, yes. uh, you know, a bit straight on. Yeah. So, yeah. No, this is another cool stuff. Good, yeah, good, good stuff. Dead Beat Drums is the name. Dead Beat Drums, yeah. No, for me it's amazing to see the entries that are from all over the world uh, Norway, Argentina, Mexico, uh, many, many, many places. So let's check another one. Ace Key Drums. Sorry, try that again. Yeah, that's good. A that's... that's a China. This, this... Yeah, that's a China. Yeah. What is that? But, it's a but... huge China. Yeah, no, it's a. No? Yeah, it's it might be. Okay. No, it might be a bigger. It might be a twenty or eighteen. Okay. Maybe nineteen. So go ahead. But, uh, yeah. I, I interrupt you. No, that's alright. Yeah, good. Good. This is a good, a solid, you know, work as well. And you can, you know, you can see that. You know, you don't need a huge drum kit to, to, to do good shit, you know? Thank you. So he was, you know, he plays quite, you know, catchy, grooving things. And uh, yeah, I like that. I like that really good. You oh, know? Let's go. More minimalistic uh, with a minimalistic set, but still. Yeah, more... yeah, but still, you know, it's yeah. it's really solid, you know? You yeah. know, it's, you know, you can you can tell everything is, you know, He's been thinking about all 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 the, all the parts before he recorded it. So yeah, it's, it's a really good one. Well, he said that you're a true master. <laughs> yeah, no. So yeah, I wish. Sometimes it, it happened to you that other drummers say, "Oh, you're really you're." Yeah, drummer. sometimes you know I'm 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 really fortunate to be. In, part of like a really good band so i think when you play with great musicians it's easier to kind of develop yourself because mm. if you play with a you know a really good guitar player or, or another musician they kind of push you to to your limits and try to kind of you know exceed and be better so yeah i've been wow. lucky yeah uh this entry is well for me one of one of my favorite so oh, let's, cool. let's check this out oh, let's try that again up <laughs> Yeah, this is really good. It's like what? It's like perfect. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, this is no. It's really good. Really good. Uh, you know, we have 
the build up, you have the 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 you know the beats, everything. Yeah, it's, it's really like good. really well con constructed. I you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And the feels are good as well. And he also alternates the, the tempo. So because the, mm. the beat for the song in in four by four, mm. but he changed some of the beat there, he, he played three by four. So yes. that's something actually I you know been thinking of could be uh, important to to just don't play a regular beat all the time to, yeah. to mix mix up. So if even though it's a four by four, you can do a three by four because it adds up in the in the end, and you can you know you can do some uh, I guess sort of jazzy approach to it. Yes. And he he actually had some of that in in one of the mm. one of the fills he had. Yeah, I know that's for me one of my favorite. So big up Mauricio Extreme Drums. He's from Brazil, I think. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh okay. So go to the next. Um boop. I, I really like this one too. Yeah, really good. <laughs> you know, and he, you see, he, I don't think he had like uh, a blast beat even. So it yeah. shows that you don't, <laughs> you really don't need blast beats on everything. So he had like sort of, I would say maybe a bit like kind of sepultura approach yeah, to it. Like a trash, so, like a yeah, trash, more, trash yeah. metal feel. But solid, solid beats, solid grooves. Yeah, really yeah. good, really good one as well. Yeah, no. Gustav, Tom, really good, really good. One. <laughs> one, right. one, I don't know. <laughs> uh, this, I, I, I think is a more hardcore guy. Argentina. Argentina, yeah, yeah. You can you can tell he have a lot of like passion for what he's playing, you know. So yes, he can express yeah. more than the first first guy <laughs> when, when he's playing. He's prac. He's oh yeah, more, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. More expression. Uh, yeah. So what yeah, do you but, think? Yeah, yet another solid one. Um, you know, a lot of uh, catchy kind of grooves. Um, for me, Solid the, blast, the only, and yeah, yeah. The only detail is that it doesn't have a dynamic. You know, it's always like here. <laughs> yeah, sort of. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I understand what you say. Um, it's yeah. It's right. more like uh, yeah. It's a choice. But still, still, yeah. It's it's about a choice. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, a solid performance as well. 
Ya, Big Up Aguas de Mogorgón. Ah, no, Agus de Mogorgón. Sorry. So... Yeah, this is really good as well. Yeah. Yeah, I like the way he kind of breaks up um, the beat with a, like a like a tom pattern beat instead. Mm. Uh, good, you know, good blast, good, good everything. Uh, yeah. For me, I was just surprised that in the middle of the intro, he is like... Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, and also, yeah, he, he and also the way he kind of changed to a kind of a different beat. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he no, sort of really kind good. of yeah, really good, really good, really good. Uh, <laughs> there's a, a comment. Saint Bois sec. No, ça en bois. Wait, that is like in French. Like he's he's um, really. Uh, well, I don't know. There's <laughs> hard to sure. translate that. Is a is really good. So, yeah, it was good. It was really yeah. good. Yeah. So. Uh, let's listen something else. Uh, <laughs> well, in the chat, uh, there's one guy that went, fuck, I was on the Instagram. <laughs> okay. So I, I think he was, uh, he misunderstood. He was thinking we were making a live on Instagram. Oh, but okay. no, he's, uh, so yeah, let's listen. Lorenzina Marcatoma. Oh, I love that. That's so slayer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good shit as well, you know. A lot of uh, a I had, different uh, approach. Ah, uh, different, yeah. But yeah, all approaches is you know there's nothing wrong and right. And yes. uh, he sort of had like like you said like the Slayer kind of approach, and uh, and also I kind of had a, a little bit of old Napalm Death vibes yeah. going on there with it the, with the, yes. the drum beat and the, and the kick drums like from the Harmony Corruption uh, hmm. album. So uh, yet a really really good one as well, you know, and the Great. way he kind of breaks up, you know, and let the guitar uh, have it like a guitar break. So that's that's cool, you know. Yes, that that's something that I think this was the first guy or the only guy that actually choose have a silence. <laughs> yeah, his, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he also have like a like the the build up in the beginning and. And you know the bill of and yeah, really good. Yeah, really good with like uh, this uh, snare drum march. So all in all, really, really solid performance. You know. Yeah. And uh, you know, uh, yeah, I like this one. Yeah. So big up Lawrence Dinamarca drummer. 
I don't know where you're from, but uh, <laughs> you, you see a lot of hashtags. Uh, check another. This is a good one as well. It's cool the way he kind of um, brings in the the kind of intro that he does in the beginning with the with the tom fills. He sort of bring that into the beat later on. So it's you know he have you know he he he, he develops something and then he brings it back in, mm. in the middle of the beat. So that's a cool cool thing as well. And yet another solid performance yeah, for sure. Yeah, so far. They're they're all pretty good. Yeah, know? exactly. Well, yeah, like I said in the beginning, uh, you know, I haven't seen any bad one. You know, the different one is cool to you know see. Oh, that's a that's a cool way to do thing. Yeah, you good know, luck to, uh, good luck to to pick them. Yeah, one. yeah, it's gonna be really really <laughs> difficult to be honest. Yeah, uh, so it's sort of all winners though. I, I think I think everybody should get. Yeah. The send microphones and sticks to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> no. I, to, to be honest, I wish I wish I could, you know. Uh, yes. And I have to I have to you know big up to to all the companies that you know have been giving me the chance to give away all this good yeah, stuff. Sure. You know, I mean, in these troubled times, you know, that's it's finally we can you know give something back and and people yeah. can you know get some reward for all the hard work they've been doing. You know, sitting yeah, in sure. solitude and yeah. So no, and uh, this this is just the first one we can yeah. do this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a dream dream challenge two, three, <laughs> four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. I mean when I see how many people are involved in this, this is really really cool, you know. To yeah, see that people, you know, they have their own thoughts about things and they wanna do uh, part of this. So this is cool. Yes. And sometimes you know um uh, there is a gap that exists between the artists and the fans and with something like this it's kind of bring the gap closer so yeah, yeah i mean we're we're all just you know we're all artists and fans you know yes. we've all been there so you know to to be in the position that i can actually give away stuff like this this is you know i think it's a good thing yeah and especially feedback some sometimes they, there are people that uh, are I'm sure they're freaking out that you are listening what they are playing, you know. Yeah. So they are there. That's already a gift for them. I'm sure. Yeah, so, no, the, the privilege is mine actually. <laughs> so let's check another. Yeah, this is a good room. 
<laughs> Good but, shit. I mean, you can see he he means what he's doing, you know. It's, yes, there's you know, a lot of passion. It is, and you could tell, you know, and he's he's play, you know, he really beat the shit out of the drums. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I like that kind of drumming. You know, yes, uh, it's sometimes you know you can get too too technical, I guess. You know, it's all about technique, and you know, but. For me, when you play metal, you have to be, you have to be passionate, you have to be, you have to be brutal, sort of, you know. So, but it, so he, you know, he just pounds that that right symbol, you know, and yeah. really good. I like this one. Very well, cool. So big up flow, the toxin, the toxin. So. Mm. There's uh, six, seven, eight left. And. Oops. Yeah, this one has sort of the kind of you know classic, classic way to do it. You know, yes. the build up and start with a kind of slow beat and then progress. So this is like you know, kind of a textbook way to approach yeah. it. Yeah. Solid, yeah. solid performance. I mean, yeah, solid, but uh, with a little less risk than. Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess you know. But, but like I said before, you know, you, you don't you don't have to kind of. Overdo yeah. things as well, you know. If if you wanna, you know, exactly. if you wanna have something to sound kind of grim and and you know simple, you you need yeah. to kind of do that playing as well. Yeah, for sure. Uh, okay, so ah, this was was very interesting because it's a guy who kind of Polynesian percussion. Oh. mix it with black metal. I, really and on top of that he make like the oh, the, the note pattern the no <laughs> so okay <laughs> I like that he kind of dares to do something different. Yeah. You know, that's, yeah. And Brave. I have a, a technical question for you. Okay. Because we we saw some fit. Um, <laughs> I know that our drummers that are like to play with shoes, something with no shoes, and with me, even bare feet. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. What's, your, what's your style? I, I use shoes. Uh, when I when I started playing, I didn't use shoes. But uh, when we started to when I started to play with with Enslaved, we had like this rehearsal room that we shared with a lot of other bands. Ah. And uh, so so when I started playing on that rehearsal room, 
um, which were kind of a community place. So they had like a drum kit there. Uh, so in the beginning, I, I think I was bringing like my, my double pedal. But uh, yeah, so I don't know. I, I prefer shoe anyway. I mean, you, you kind of you kind of get like a different kind of feel when you play with just socks or barefoot. Mm. But uh, yeah, I, I it would. Depends. Yeah. All right. So this is a green submission. Oh, that's cool. Solid, cool. solid beats, you know. Uh, I mean, it's not like really a lot of variation, but still, what he's doing, you know, like like the the, the intro, mm -hmm. uh, it's really cool. The, the accents on the on the on the splashes and uh, really kind of like I said before, like solid when you play. You don't you don't have to kind of overdo things. Yes. Uh, so. I like this, and I, I like the fact that it looks like he's recorded like in a Russian submarine. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so I think he's uh, Italian because his name is ah. Vapori di Sodio. Ah, le capisce l'italiano? Vapori di Sodio. Uh, no, <laughs> ah. <laughs> not really. But uh, yeah, and I say now I vomit my bowel for the trim torso. Yeah, but it was a it was a really good one. I like this one. Yeah, you know, it's cool really kind of doing like an honest kind of interpretation, uh, you know. Yeah, and, and and the beats are really really solid as well. Mm. No, that's cool. I like the intro because with the yeah, it's like it's so like industrial a little like yeah, ping, uh, yeah, cool stuff. So let's check in on the. <laughs> yeah, but yet another good one. Huh? I like I like the setup there. It looks like he's uh, you know a lot of plastic on it. It's like a looks like a scene from from Dexter. So <laughs> it's maybe maybe some butchering going on afterwards. But yeah, yeah, sol solid performance. This as well, you know, um, different approach, kind of like a, more like a trashy kind of a style. To it. Yes. Yeah, but I like this one. I like it. Yeah, but you see, it's like, it's, he he make it look so easy, you know? Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he have good technique, so. Mm. No, that's, uh, that's really cool. So, big up 
Cesar Velasco. I think he's from Argentina too. Ah. I'm not sure. Um, but good entry anyway. So check now. Yeah, good one. Um, quite solid beat as well. Uh, you know, a bit looks similar with the with the Russian U-boat uh, approach. You know, doesn't do a lot of stuff, but what he does, you know, make purpose. You know, yes. so yeah. And he's from Colombia. Oh, cool. Jonathan Jonathan Perez, ninety-four. Yeah. So we are approaching to the end. Try that again. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, it was, it was cool as well. Uh, choose a different approach as well. Uh, kind of, you know, building up without, you know, doing a lot of stuff, you know, overdoing things. Yes. Um, but cool beats as well. And, you know, the, the breaks on the cymbals, you know, like we saw before. Um, so not many doing the breaks one, but it's, uh, it's one of them. Hmm. Yeah. That's cool. Sometimes silence is good. Yeah. You need to have some, yeah, you need to break up, you know, yes. kind of mix it up. Exactly. Let's check. Oh, we have an emperor teacher. Okay, where are we now? <laughs> Perfect. One minute. Yeah, really good. Yeah. 
also yeah he kind of had that kind of um the natural um progress and also sort of the natural you know the way to to build up that song uh i like the way he kind of accents the the hi-hats in the in the in the, in the opening break when he's doing this pattern and he do like a syncope syncope on the on the hi-hat in the, in the build up mm. but and also he kind of plays what you would expect the next next part to be so he he sort of yeah. follows the kind of you know expected kind of pattern of uh, yeah. of the way he chooses you know uh, yeah. to build up the song so yeah it's another really good one yeah no the, what i really like this about the challenge is um that it make um it, it let uh, drummers roam free you know yeah make yeah, yeah. Really composition whatever you want and and you can because basically a song is a story so how c you can build a story in one minute so yeah uh, it's, there, a, uh, it's it's almost impossible to be honest you know uh, but the, and, 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 you and we didn't make it easier that, yes yeah i mean that, it's so. not easy easy when you have like a sort of a simple guitar kind of riff sure. that it, it progress but it doesn't progress to something different so you kind of have to to make the drums do the 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 alternation and the progression of the song yes so that's makes it even harder you know you you need that to have some sort why of it's a challenge training. yeah exactly exactly <laughs> it is a challenge uh, yes no but uh really cool I, I i'm really happy about this um so we have another one What do you think? Yeah, really good. This one as well. Uh, a lot of passion. Yeah, and I, I like the fact that he brings that opening part into the song in the middle of the song. So there is yeah. like a connection between the kind of the the, the the tom patterns that he plays in the beginning. He kind of brings that into the song later on. Mm. So that's cool. Mm, nice kind of access on the on the symbols on the on the blast beat one foot yes. blast beat as well so that's cool so yeah a really good drama really cool stuff so we're arriving almost to the end there's only three left okay check this out
Yeah. That's a cool, that's, that's a different really approach original. as well. You know. Yeah, it is. Um, I also like the way that he kind of breaks up the, the, the beat. When when he starts playing the beat, he, he breaks it up in, in two halves. So that's a cool one that he, he played two kind of different kind of beats on on the, on one for a full round. Um, also, he have like this kind of disco beat yeah. going on in the middle of the song. Like, which is kind of, yeah, that's quite daring, uh, you know. And no, it's all a matter I, I of taste, it's a, it's but it's cool that you know that yeah. he actually tried to, to to do something different with the song as well. No, but that that's something that a lot of uh, band like Ramstein or industrial bands they 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 use it a lot. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. And from going from that to a blast beat is a uh, no, I think was really yeah, it's really cool. Good. And he's a really good drummer, so you can you can tell he's you know a lot of got a lot yeah. of skills. And it's cool that he actually don't have any 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 toms. Well, he have a floor tom, but still a uh, really kind of uh, minimalistic setup with you know yeah, it's even good, more minimalistic good symbols. than the other guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. But yeah. Uh, he have a lot of like really good sounding symbols, so that's you know I think he's from, helps. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not sure, but I think he's from Norway. Um, ah, yes. So cool, very cool. And three, check this one, and <laughs> well, let's try that again. Up, up. Yeah, cool. Sort you of more like a hardcore. Uh, I'm sorry. You can see that you you are on this on the screen. On the screen. It, yeah, in in front of his drum kit, there you are. Ah, oh, no, yeah, I didn't notice. <laughs> okay, so sorry. So so he's he's actually staring at me. Yes. Mm. <laughs> so what do you think? Yeah, uh, cool. This is more like a more like a hardcore kind of style. Uh, mm. Yeah, but really solid, really solid. Good, good kind of uh, beats going on. Um, yeah, I like this. You already different tried kind of approach. Like a, yeah, you 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 already tried to play um, um, a electronic drum kit like that. Yeah. Uh, it's not as simple as you think, actually, uh, no. because it, it's a way different kind of feel. So you have to kind of get used to it. Uh, sure. So I think a lot of people think that oh, he's playing electric drum kit. That's so much easier, you know. It's but it, it, it really isn't. So yes. because it's the 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 way kind of the stick bounces of the the cymbals and the toms, mm. it's different. You you can get you know it kind of give less bounce on, on the symbol and more bounce on on the on the mesh head so it's mm. it's not easy to to play like and make it feel you know natural on on the electric drum, drum kit yeah for sure um yeah. no but uh, especially during the this current situation of covid and stuff uh, there's a lot of drummers that ha didn't have the choice and they had no. to you know to, yeah, yeah, and there's nothing wrong with playing on an electric yes. kit. So that's, yes. I mean, the, what's important here is the way you kind of approach a song and yes, yeah. Now with cool stuff. So big up, Jari Sumanen. So the Jari last one. Sumanen might be finished. 
Yes. Really good as well. And I also had like the almost well, actually, I think you actually had the, the three four kind of beats going on in the yeah. middle there, uh, which is cool to kind of break up the, the normal pattern. Um, and blast beat is really solid. Um, I think it's one foot blast beat all the time, so that's really good. Yeah, really, really can, good. One. Can you explain that? The, for example, when you make a blast beat. Uh, when you yep. right hand, you kind of make like ta -ta 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 -ta. what the 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 foot, the the, the foot yeah. The, if 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 the if the right hand is your leading hand, your your right foot will be following that that leading hand. So the right foot and the right hand beats the same time. So oh, you hit okay. you, you hit yeah. So the snare on the left on your left arm will be in between. So, oh, okay. so if you play like a one one foot blast, you play all the notes on one foot. But if you play two foot blast, you can do two options. You can play uh, a double. So you play you play on the same time with the right foot as the right hand, and on the left foot with the left hand. So you have like, but then you can alternate and play instead of play all the beats on once on one kick you can play every second note on the left so it kind of saves energy so especially for live for live performance a lot of a lot of the drummers you know prefer to do two foot to kind of save energy so sure. yeah oh it's yeah. cool but the, it, it it gives also a different kind of you know flow when you play with one blast. You kind of you know it feels more aggressive, I guess. But up to a certain point, you kind of if you're gonna plot, play like really really fast, uh, it's much easier when you play double uh, two uh, two two beat blast. Yes. So we are right to the end. Um, we All right. Um, yeah, we we, um, we all want to thank everyone that oh yeah came to the, to the stream. Um, I think uh, this one Brazilian guy have a lot of <laughs> have a huge fan base, so all their friends are here. Um, wow. <laughs> <laughs> now, so really cool. So you guys, you still have time to send your 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 entry. Still, it's not the end to uh, win cool prizes, and oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm 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 really happy about all the entries. Uh, they are really different. They are really there. There are a lot of different styles. So yeah, yeah, really good one. Uh, there is yeah. you know there's nothing right and wrong here. Yes. So uh, it's all about kind of. What you prefer, uh, I, I look at this as more like a, a musical challenge than sure. than just like a regular drum challenge, and that's due to the fact that the the guitars are you know yeah. doesn't make a lot of different kind of uh, themes. So that's... no, it's I'm glad I'm not doing this challenge uh, <laughs> like playing. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So um, we we want to. Eh, there, sorry, before we go, 
I think you have something uh, with Emperor going on very soon. Yeah, we have a, a live stream uh, next month on uh, May 23rd. So yes. we're gonna have a, a, a live streaming show uh, from our hometown. Uh, you know, it's about time we kind of do something. Uh, been way too long with nothing happening. So I guess this is the only only way we can, you know, still be playing and people, you know, and people actually can be part of it, you know, from all over the world. So yeah. that's, you know, uh, it's a sort of a special party as well because, you know, uh, Mortis will be playing with us. He will play bass on the on a lot of the like the earlier stuff that he actually played bass on when he first joined Emperor. Mm. And 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 Faust will play drums on several tracks as well. So it's going to be sort of one off thing, and and it's yes. just going to be on this on this event. So that's yeah. why it's you know it's not something that people will be have a chance to see later on this is just going to be for this stream and and i think this stream you will be able to see it you know a couple of days after the stream is done and that's it yeah so oh, that's yeah really, that's a really cool because uh yeah we we all miss uh live shows we all we all yeah. miss um see uh live band so this is the closest we we can get so and yeah i guess you guys make this one special inviting all yeah it, it sort of has to be special it sort of has to be special so yeah. that's we yeah, sure. yeah we have made some more stuff that we're gonna use on stage as well for like uh, videos and yeah I, I hope it would be a good event yeah i know for sure so well trim i really want to thank you uh, yeah thank you man thank everyone and yeah we will see you the next time maybe to to announce the winner yeah uh <laughs> yeah, i still sure. have a couple of more days to to, to you know do the yeah, decision sure. and people are still have a time to to, to yeah, do more entries but yeah there, there there are still four days to send your your submission and your yeah. video and yeah for sure we will we'll keep you posted about that and thank you thank you thank to you everyone for for taking the time to to create this music and to be creative and keep the keeping the music alive <laughs> yeah keep on rocking yes so see you next time <laughs>